What's up, YouTube? So, it's been 102 days since I've posted a video. Um, this is my first ride since I went hunting. Um, been busy. A lot of work stuff, home stuff, you know. Really been itching to get out on the bike, you know, get out and ride with Zach. And he didn't come out today. Uh, my cousin Chris and uh, one of my other buddies, Steve, okay. we went out for a ride. Um, this is the 450's first real ride since I fixed everything. Um, I want to try and uh, mess with the air fuels on this thing, maybe richen it up a little bit. Um, you can see it stall out a little bit there it actually flamed out a few times after it had been sitting there running for a while I still got it. <laughs> so in that case this thing's been flaming out a little bit I maybe lean it out it. i'm not 100 percent sure uh, i don't want to get into a tuning discussion but it was a good day um other than the rally uh burned up another set of rear brake pads uh, the brakes are just pitiful in that thing and i've come to the conclusion it's it's because of the type of stuff I'm riding in. There's a lot of sand and rocky mud um, that we're riding through right now. And it just gets caked up in the in the cross you know, parts of the rotor and every time I hit the brakes it's just grinding the pads up on it. Um, I have to you know lube the calipers up like every other ride because you know they start to stick. You know, because I power wash the bike off. I mean, it's filthy. I usually bring home about 15 pounds of mud with me. <laughs> it's, uh, I've been slowly adding dirt to my backyard every time I clean the bikes off. But, honestly, I was lacking courage. Um, it's amazing what three months off the bike will do to your self-esteem. Um, I just, uh, I've went up this hill hundred times last year and in way worse conditions and I blew it over and over and over. I mean it was muddy, you know. It was, it was a pretty sloppy mess. That's my cousin Chris riding the rally. Um, I've got the big tall seat on there. The bike's not lowered at all. And he's like five eight or five seven. So he can't touch the ground. And he did amazing. He rode the bike really well. Um, Plus, this is the first time he's rode in about two years outside of when we went hunting. And he has broke both of his arms uh, once when he was a kid and once a few years ago, and it actually stopped him from riding. Um, he shattered the, his elbow, basically. And it was like an $11,000 surgery that he wasn't able to do at the time. Um, but he did really good. You know, um, I mean, I didn't put every crash in tip over on this video uh, but you know he dropped the bike picked it right back up you know got right back going he had a he had a good time um, we all did I was uh, like I said lacking a little bit of courage but at the same point in time um, when I went hunting I started smoking again after two years of not smoking uh, no particular reason necessarily uh, I just to be honest I've smoked since I was like 12, and I love smoking, but I know it's, you know, it's killing me. It's no good for me. So, I've been battling that a little bit, but for the most part, like I said, I've just been working, you know, getting things together here with the house, um, you know, priorities and all that crap, but, um, things are looking good. I think I'll be doing a good bit of riding this year. Uh, hopefully we don't lose this riding spot or the other ones, but... I'd like to do some traveling this year. I got to work on the van. Um, brakes are <laughs> giving me issues on that. But mainly, it's just been sitting. Um, just need to bleed the bleed the system, hopefully, and adjust the rear drum brakes, and it'll be up and going. And then we got all emissions. I got to deal with with pretty much all my vehicles right now. But uh, it's all good. And this is actually couple weeks ago um, we did a ride over the weekend I'm putting footage together on that one uh, that was me and Zach and Billy with the DRZ and Steve also came out on the WR we had a good time and me and Steve uh, laid out 
the plans were for some new trails actually really good terrain which is right across from where we're at right now um, some nice hill climbs creek cross and um, you'll see that probably by by the weekend so I think we're gonna get some rain uh, nearing the end of the week so that'll be cool because we lost uh, up here to the right there was a good creek crossing and, and uh, a bunch of trees fell and unfortunately it kind of just cut us off you know so we got to go around again but we made a new trail right here that every once in a while I'll cut to the right and go down through I could still get through there but you know like I said it was fun the 450 ended up putting a one-way clutch for the starter on um, it was damaged pretty good uh, did that at a thousand miles and I think right now it's got just under 1200 on it over the last two rides the um, the roller balls on the one-way clutch the the metal was basically transferred uh, from the clutch itself to the drum um, which would to me mean either a lack of oiling huh? or it was maybe uh, it was run dry uh, like I said maybe when the bike was put together you know at the dealer they forgot to put oil on it I honestly yeah. do not know I'm just too damn short. or they started it dry and you know on a dry motor and didn't tip the bike side to side to oil everything up but there was definitely damage and the one-way clutch is what engages and disengages the starter from the crankshaft on the engine so that whole ordeal cost me just about a thousand dollars in parts since I bought that bike um, hoping it's fixed uh, definitely starts a lot better every once in a while it's got a little bit of kickback issue but I think that's more in the tune than it is anything to do with the starting system so but we were both huffing and puffing uh, this day it was it actually got a little warm I think it got up in the mid 60s but we overdressed because it was I think it was like 30 degrees when uh when we first started or my dog he's coming in to see who the heck I'm talking to <laughs> but again you know felt really good to get out and ride um, the rally did great outside of you know cooking about five millimeters brake pad on a 40 mile ride um, did pretty good I was running those uh, organic brake pads that Adventure Zach found on uh, Amazon or Walmart or something like that um, they there's not much I can really say about them they were just a you know cheap Chinese or whatever you know, brake pad uh, to be honest for my ride in they lasted just about as long as everything else um, I'd really like to get a set of solid rotors. They're solid steel that don't have the cross-drilled cooling ducts in them. Um, I had a 400EX that I used to kill brakes on. And it's funny because I used to ride at this exact spot. And every weekend I was putting rear brakes on it. And that bike, it was just getting torn up. And it was you know, similar to all this. It's a lot of different terrain and types of mud and clay and sand you know and, and it's funny it was 15 years ago actually 16 years ago but had the same issues and uh, me and Zach me more than Zach um, have been a lot of problems you know, with the brakes but I think it's more to do with you know the media that's actually getting in between the pad and the rotor that's really tearing everything up but my 450 does uh, eat brakes a little bit, but nothing as bad as the 250Ls. So I've put rear brake pads on the 450L once, but I really haven't ridden it nowhere near as much. The Rally has about 5,000 miles on it almost. Um, I would say majority of the miles uh, are at this spot, or at least local spots around here. But, um, you know... The only time I ride it on the road is to go riding. Um, every once in a while, I take it to work, just you know, to calm my need to go for a ride. Uh, you know, you got to get out and just ride. And I don't have any street bikes I don't anymore. Know where I'm going anywhere. <laughs> so uh, I still have I have a CBR 1000 that I use as a track bike. 
Um, but it's it was totaled at one point in time, so it'll never be you know, tagged on the road again. I mean, I've had it on the speed limiter at 190 mile an hour. It rides straight as an arrow, and it's a great bike. It's a uh, 06, 07 kind of hybrid. It's mixed up. I got a whole bunch of different parts from different bikes putting it back together. It's one of my Craigslist builds. Um, I don't really talk about a lot of my other stuff, but I've, over the years, I've probably rebuilt four or five street bikes, um, fixed them all, and actually put them on the road, except for that one, because the title's not clear. It's a salvage title, and I don't want to go through all that mess where I'm from. It's really not worth it to me. I, the bike, I've drag raced it. Um, it's bone stock no fuel control or anything just a slip on pipe and I got with a mini stretch on a 986 at like 148 mile an hour um, it's pretty consistent once I learned how to launch it I was trying to rev it like 5,000 rpm in the hole and it wasn't working it was giving me a fit but um you know I uh I'm kind of done with the street bikes as far as on the road um I just I don't know it's not that much fun to me anymore and my other cousin Frank you know me and him ride when we get a chance but it's it's here and there you know but that's enough chatter for now it's the end of the video so if you guys like this you know, subscribe like uh, tell me what you don't like um, hopefully I'll have another video out in the next week or so and that one's got some pretty fun stuff on it we had a great time uh, hopefully we have a whole lot more great times this year all right everybody take it easy i'm out <laughs> almost looped it i was feathering the clutch all the way up